agriculture contributes about 33% of all the emissions of the world, uh, depending a little bit on how you count it, but it's anywhere from 26 to 33. And we can't get to net zero. We don't get this job done unless agriculture is front and center as part of the solution. But with a growing population on the planet, we just crossed the threshold of 8 billion fellow citizens around the world. We just crossed that in this last year. Emissions from the food system alone are projected to cause another half a degree of warming by mid-century on the current course that we are today. A two degree future could result in an additional 600 million people not getting enough to eat. And you just can't continue to both warm the planet while also expecting to feed it. Doesn't work. So we have to reduce emissions from the food system to keep the 1.5 degrees alive. Why do we have to keep 1.5 degrees alive? Because scientists, as a basis of physics and mathematics, not ideology and politics or party labels or anything else, as a matter of physics and mathematics and some biology and chemistry have told us, these are the consequences. And we already see it happening. And almost everything they've predicted for 30 plus years now is coming true, but the problem is it's coming true faster and bigger than was in fact predicted.